Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Better Than Icy, where today we're gearing up for adventure. Oh, adventure. But first, I'm going to run through some stuff. I've been streaming this world lately, and I've made a few changes. Um, Let's see. Oh, I added this lever here, so I can turn off the night vision beacon. Um, Basically, this is just a bunch of repeaters that go up. Not repeaters. Redstone torches that go up and trigger a piston. I'll show that off in just a second. Let's go check what time it is, because why would I ever check that before I start recording? Okay, it's still night, so we'll go show the stuff I've done down the mine. I have done a ton of mining on stream. On stream, I'm generally just going to be doing mainly the boring stuff. But, yeah. What I have down here is the start of my gold beacon, which I had started. I've just added a little bit more to it. Not quite another level yet. And that's giving me the haste. So, basically, efficiency. Um, and over here, which I can knock this down now, I have my diamond beacon. I'm super excited about the diamond beacon. The diamond beacon um, gives me fortune. Yeah, pretty sweet. It's only one level so far, but I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, that's something we're going to be continuing to add to. I'll probably do a lot of that on stream because it's just a bunch of mining. Something I really do want to get, though, and I'm working hard towards, is I'm going to try to get a Silk Touch pickaxe. Um, because that'll let me Silk Touch stuff up and then move it over near that beacon to actually, you know break it out. That way I get more diamonds and all that jazz before the beacon is fully done. Uh, I am updated to the newest, 457, which has added all the remaining scrolls. I don't know where most of those scrolls come from, but I have been told to check some of the trades from villagers, so we're probably going to start actually doing some trades with villagers soon. So that's... I've been trading with them to get emeralds, because I want to get an emerald beacon, which is looting, for those who don't know. Um, that way I'll be all ready to go once I, um, get my mob spawners running. I'm probably going to be abandoning this mob spawner and making a large one outdoors. I have a couple ideas for that. And then we're just going to show off something in the nether real quick. What I've been working on in the nether is... Doo -doo -doo. Okay, this is going to be kind of a long run. While I run over here, I'm going to explain my plan for today. We're heading to the end, because I haven't been to the end in quite a while. I want to get some more white stone. There's been a few changes in the end, and I'd like to actually map out the way to get to the end so I can work on a railroad there at some point. So that's why I've collected some Eyes of Ender. Um, I've got a ridiculous amount of torches ready. I'm bringing my armor with me. I just have to remember to grab some glasses. Now in the nether, I have a full power glowstone beacon. Um, because I've been working here a lot, and I have a one-level Soulforge Steel Beacon. And what this does is, if I die, I will pop up right there. Now, it's within a certain range, so it's really not super effective, but it's been protecting me as I've been working on this. And this is going to be my nether farm. Basically, uh, I'm going to start tapering this in, so that when mobs st uh, spawn there, they'll get pushed down. I do need to find a mushroom biome. That way I can start, you know, getting rid of all the other possible spawn areas. But, you know, that's something that's eventually going to happen. I've been taking random streams as explore the ocean and try to find a uh, mushroom biome streams. And I'm sure I'll find this eventually. It's just way, way too boring to do that as a episode. So... I do it on while I'm streaming so I can just chat with people as I'm uh, looking. So we are going to be heading back. Uh, I have to grab some goggles. And we're going to be searching for uh, my end portal again. Which I've found, I think, twice now. So, uh, the Ender Dragon killed me the first time. But I never bothered marking off, which was really, really dumb. So we got to get to the end, and then I need to light it up like crazy so that uh, we can stop the Enderman spawn there. Because we're eventually going to want to make an Enderman farm. It's just too important not to have. I love end pearls. That guy is swimming up the lava. Go, Pigman, go! But yeah, <laughs> that's, that's going to be the goal for today. We're going to at least get to the end uh, again today. 
and I'm gonna be dropping torches to mark off a path as I go. We'll eventually go through and um, get ourselves a nice little uh, rail cra rail over there, like in my vanilla world. Um, okay, it's probably, yeah, it's bright enough. Oh, I think, you can see I have three beacons popping up there now. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, go for it. It's not quite day. Oh, I, I guess it is. It's, it's too late for them this small. We're fine. So let's go head on over that way. I brought my armor with me just in case I need it. Uh, right now, I'm just wearing unenchanted iron armor. I died and lost my enchanted iron armor, so yeah. Let's have to deal with that. Also, jungles are terrible now. I have gotten into jungles a lot in my streams since Hardcore Movement, and oh my god, they are atrocious. It was uh, just bad. So out this way, where I lost my wither in a stream, I had the most terrifying thing happen. I was going along, and all of a sudden I heard an explosion uh, from the wither. I didn't see the health bar pop up. I just, you know, heard the explosion. I didn't see where it landed. So either I was somewhat near the wither, but I got away quick enough that it didn't aggro or didn't find me, or... It was just one of the skulls that had flown off into an unloaded chunk, and then I loaded that chunk. So I'm not sure which one, but there's always the possibility that we'll find a wild wither out here, which is just not cool, quite simply. Quite simply, just terrible. But I know my in portal is somewhere out this way, and I don't know. I'm going to go out a little bit before I use my first eye. Um... You know what? I know this part. We'll just make a some kind of obvious way to be like, yo, this is where you go. So, yeah. And um, I know through various spoilers that have been pseudo-revealed to me. Oh, crap! A wild wither appears! A wild wither appears! Let's just run. I don't feel like fighting the wither now. I'm not ready. Oh my god. The wither is actually still out here somewhere. That is not cool. Not cool. I don't know where he went. We're someday going to have to deal with that problem. I think now would be the perfect time to tell you all that my world is now going to be available for download. I'll update it every couple episodes. I'll let you know in the episode when I update. Um, I'm going to try to remember to put a link in the description. If I don't, someone yell at me. It's on my website, which is icyopolis.com, I-C-Y-O-P-L-I-S.com, um, and just go to the download section. I'll have my Better Than Wolves world and my Vanilla world available for download there. Um, I'm going to try to remember to put that in that just the description. I'll probably forget. Someone yell at me and remind me to do that if I forget. But yeah, so that's a little surprise for people who download my world. A wild wither. Okay, so we didn't actually get to see where that Ender Pearl went. Did that go that way? Whoa, almost fell down there. I don't know where that eye went. Okay, so apparently this way. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want those eyes. These eyes are amazing looking in this texture pack, I have to say. We need to make some kind of very obvious way to find this. I should have been using the eyes in the beginning, just so I could have easily made a path, but I don't know path of torches, but I didn't think it through, because I'm icy freaking New Year, and I don't think things through. And that's why there's a wild wither in my world. I mean, honestly. If I thought things through, would there be a wild wither in my world? <laughs> nope. Okay, so I need that. Ow. But yeah, I'm really excited to find out where you get the rest of the scrolls. Um, a couple have been spoiled for me. Um, not many. I know that Certain ones come from squid, so we'll be making a squid farm. I don't know. Whenever we get home, we'll make a squid farm. Um. Oh, wait. Is this? Yep, here it is. So I guess the least we can do is throw some cobble up here so it's obvious from, you know, anywhere other than directly in front of it. Because that is, like, the most pathetic marker I've ever made. So we're going to use our cobble. We'll throw a torch or two on top of it. And that way, I mean, at the very least, we can look for this pillar. And that might help us. Ow. So yeah, 
But uh, I'm not sure if I finished talking about that. If I did and I'm repeating myself, I apologize. But uh, I, I, it has been spoiled for me that Hardcore Silverman... Silverman? Silverfish has something to do with the end. Uh, and stone in the end. So we're going to take a peek at that. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. Haha! <laughs> Burn to death! Children of the dark! Burn to death! So... I'm going to take some stone with me. And you know what? While we're here... Oh, that is definitely a silverfish. I couldn't remember if I kept my silverfish spawner or not. I thought so. So we're going to explore the this some. Um, because we didn't explore it at all last time. We just went straight in. We were like, screw this to the end. No, I fell in. I forgot. I had fallen into the end last time accidentally so we're gonna just poke around see what we can find in the way of here maybe we can find the library or one of the loot chests that would be awesome i'm not gonna be jerking around with those doors screw doors Ooh, what's we got iron chest plate and some apples Mm-hmm. let's go ahead and break that or i will troll myself later i do that in my vanilla world all the time i didn't bother to break those chests so I'm like, oh, cool, a chest I missed. Nope. Nope, just your own laziness catching up to you, jerk. I hear you, silverfish. I hear you. Oh, God! That was... Whoa, now, come on. Two of them? So yeah, we're gonna have the proper fortress experience. Is it just me, or do fortresses, like, always have ravines going through them? I don't think I've ever seen a fortress that didn't have a ravine going through it in some manner. Or a mine shaft, or some other... I don't know, some other element. Well, I didn't think this through at all. Let's hope. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Come on. You can do it. Why'd I do this? What is wrong with me? Steak break? Steak won't help. Please. Please stop burning. Okay, we're good. Cool. Let's go ahead and put my armor back on, and we shall move on with our adventure. <laughs> I wasn't scared. <laughs> it's cool. I knew I'd live. It was, I was just trying to mess with you guys. Yeah, we'll go with that. I was messing with you guys. I knew I'd live. <laughs> I mean, even though I wasn't going to live, I wouldn't cry like a baby like that. Okay, that one's a silverfish. Screw you, silverfish! Oh, clay. Oh, Silverfish drop clay now? Ho, ho, ho! The game has changed, my friends. Oh, that's a lot of creepers. That is three creepers. Please don't blow up my stuff. I want those. Oh, that was close. So, silverfish now drop clay. That is awesome. So, I have to set up a... This torch is made of magic. I have to set up a silverfish farm now. Like, there's... I have to, because that would just... That'd be the bee's knees, my friends. Absolutely the bee's freaking knees. Now, a silverfish farm, I have no idea how to set up. That's something we're going to have to work on. I know that Flower Child, because he has an IRC talking about it, is... Ooh, why aren't we taking these? Um, Actually, we're pretty much good on iron. But the doors, actually... The doors are a nice chunk of iron. I might as well take the doors. Except they don't stack. Hmm. I hear you. I know that Flower Child is planning on finding some way to nerf um the spawners. So it'd be really dumb for me to make a trap, a silverfish trap, based on the spawner. Um, he pretty much is focusing on silverfish in the end. So I need to figure out how they work in the end, exactly what makes them spawn, all that jazz, and then we'll go from there trying to figure out a way to farm them. Now, if you know a way to farm them, please don't tell me. This is one of those things that has not been spoiled for me how to do it. And I don't want it spoiled for me. I'd like to just find this one out on my own. And really get the opportunity to experience it. So, just leave that one at that. Um, 
So I, I normally appreciate the helpful hints from you guys. But in this case, like if you link a here's how you make a silverfish farm, which I don't think anyone's done a video yet on it. So I'm not sure if anyone's figured one out yet. <laughs> I'd just rather not see them. So I won't be looking at any links to that regard. Okay, I don't... This is a really small fortress, unless I'm missing part of it. So... Let's take one more peek around. I think there was a stairway upward I missed somewhere. I hear a spider. Okay, I already went through here. I'm pretty sure there was a stairway up. I just don't know where I missed it. Let's just peek around one more time. It's not here. Oh! Hello! How are you today, sir? We'll just leave you alone. Um, was it through here? I don't think so. I think this way pretty much ended. Oh, giant lag spike. That scared the hell out of me. Not the best place to get a lag spike. Okay, I hear a bat. Just starting to... Oh. Found more of the dungeon. Oh, okay. There's more dungeon down here. Okay. Um, stone brick is always good. So let's throw out this niter. I actually have a good bit of it. Oh, that's a ghost item. Cool. Um, hmm. There, this does not appear to be anything but a ravine. So let's head on back. Figured I'd check it for any easy diamonds. Ah, ah. Okay, I'm done with that. Moving on. Let's see. What the hell was that noise? Oh, bat! Die, bat! Yeah. I never grow tired of killing bats. Ooh. Okay. Is this just going to connect to the stairwell I found? Yeah. Okay, so I think... Hmm. No library in this one. Two loot chests with some okay... Magic torch! I love that magic torch. It's like my best friend. Oh. Got him. Okay, we're just gonna poke down here real quick. Make sure it didn't spawn all weird. Ooh, gold. We will be going for that, back for that gold. Because I am in... Ooh, more gold. I have a dire straits when it comes to gold. I need so much of it for that beacon. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn around. This is getting... We're getting a bit too far away from our goals. And away from our golds. That was... I apologize for that. So we're going to toss that clay. But now I know that there's a way to farm clay. That is amazing. Because with my auto uh, pottery machine set up, I just don't want to have to go out searching for clay constantly. So the fact that I can actually set up a clay farm is going to make my freaking day. Thank you, flower child. I don't know. I, I love when um, mod authors realize, oh, I made this resource more important. Let's put in an interesting way to get that resource. As opposed to just, you know, well, clay is more important now. Have fun wandering around finding it. Like, um... Oh, okay, it's this... I go down here and then across. Okay, we're almost back to the portal. And we're going to go ahead and put on our goggles and jump on through. But, um, what was I saying? Um, like the one, ooh, one, like, really good example of the, of, you know, this is important, so I made it. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, goggles on. Okay, we're good. So now we gonna, we're gonna want to just torch everywhere, actually. I don't think anything stays in that platform, but we're still gonna torch it all. Um... But one example of that in Better Than Wolves is Mossy Cobble. Mossy Cobble was obviously a lot more important in Better Than Wolves than it is in uh, Vanilla. Did, was that an explosion? I definitely just saw an explosion there. Huh. Okay. That was intense. I don't know what that was from. But okay. But, um... Because you actually make something out of it, you need it for block dispensers, which are actually, you know, obviously a very important part of automation and everything in Better Than Wolves. If he had left it in, you know, if he hadn't added a way to produce Mossy Cobble, it would have made things, 
I don't know, needlessly complicated in a way that doesn't add fun. You know, it would have been just a, okay, well, I made X number of block dispensers, I need to go search for more uh, dungeons, and searching for vanilla dungeons is painful, honestly. Especially with how little reward you get out of it. They're just, I don't know. Now, it would have made them more valuable because, you know, Mossy Cobble, but it would have very much crippled what I consider one of the coolest blocks in Better Than Wolves. So, I don't know. I, it's just that attention to detail is something I love seeing in mods. Um, and in a non-cheap way. You know, a way that's interesting. Oh, I'm going to run out of torches far before this is done. Okay. Well, you know what? We can always come back. Let's just get as much of this done as we can. I haven't even done the mainland at all yet. Haha! <laughs> That'll stop you. Okay, cool. This is this little edge area. Ugh, let's head on up. Okay, cool. We still have room for the white stone. Or the end stone. I don't want to lose that. But yeah, I don't know. Just... That was a weird ramble, but it's just... I've been thinking a lot about mod design lately. I've been working on just some ideas for a game of, of my own. Not, you know, not a Minecraft mod, just a game I've been playing around with some ideas on. And I have to say, looking at well-designed games or mods gives me a lot of inspiration. And the attention to detail, the balancing in Better Than Wolves just is phenomenal. Like, I've, I've really... There's a lot of mods I enjoy, but I have to say the balance between realism and fun in this uh, in Better Than Wolves is exquisite. I'm I've always been really really impressed by it, but it wasn't until I started kind of playing around with the idea of making my own game that I realized exactly how much goes into that balancing. Yeah, let's just get up as much of this area as we can. I love the way this just grew, and it's all gone. It's just so cool looking. Okay. There we are. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and just throw down some cobble real quick. Because as I said, I have no idea how this works. Like, I don't know. I, I But I know that they're, that uh, silverfish are somehow related to the end now. I just don't know the actual logic behind it. So, this is going to be a big project. We're going to have to basically make ridiculous amounts more torches. We're going to come back, and then we're probably going to be setting up our little end base here. Because once we get all the spawn areas gone, we can safely walk around without wearing the green tinted glasses. Which has to be frustrating. <laughs> And uh, we can actually make a base here. The nice thing about the end is that hard, uh, hardcore buckets does not apply here. We can actually put down water source blocks in the end. So it's the only place we can have freeform building with water. So we can use it to make some pretty cool farms. But we're going to want to make sure we completely control our endermen spawn before then. So that we don't have to worry about accidentally aggroing a million endermen if we look the wrong direction. <clears throat> now, I obviously didn't bring nearly enough torches, but, um, yeah, it's something we're going to come back for. I kind of overestimated the power of the torches I brought. Here's some bumping there. I completely just almost knocked over my mic stand, so enjoy that. Enjoy that. We're going to toss some brick, some cobble and some brick and stuff down right here. See if maybe we can figure out what's... Like, you know, how these interact. And then, um, here in a bit, we're going to be jumping out. Let's, let's, you know what, screw it. Let's put in some cracked brick. I know that they can... And the stone brick we brought, why not? There we go. And why not? We have mossy brick. Might as well. Dude, that lightning is creeping me out. That isn't in vanilla, is it? What the hell? Something just take... Did one of those just take damage? Huh. 
so I'm not really sure. Um, this something I'll probably play around with a bit more. I don't know. I didn't bring any smooth stone, which wasn't the smartest idea. Because I probably should have checked smooth stone as well. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. But yeah, um, I think next time we're going to come back with a lot more torches. Finish lighting this place up. Um, we might make the squid farm real quick beforehand because those are pretty easy to make. That guy looks all pissed off. But yeah, here we go. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.